friends, welcome back to another energy reading video. We're moving on from June. It's now July. This video is for the week of July 4th uh, to the 10th. But before we do the weekly, it is the top of the month. And so I've pulled another Illuminated Love Oracle card. I love these cards. They're a real vibe check for the month. And this is what we got. I'm going to read it to you. This card is called Centered in the Storm. There's a deep calm and peace within that is infinitely accessible and inherently you. This unshakable foundation is ever present and you need not reach outside to find it. Rather, enter within and know it as you. Only by fully surrendering to the stillness at the center can we truly glean the power of recreation available within the chaos of the storm. This oracle affirms that it is safe to be undone and unraveled by life as you root into your true divine nature. Um, and so what I love, another thing I love about this deck is that it comes with an illuminated practice. I'll read this to you and maybe you can just follow along if you want to. It's a breathing exercise. Inhale deeply. Exhale, letting your breath travel all the way to the floor of your pelvis. Inhale again. Exhaling down into your legs and through your feet, notice how your center becomes illuminated through this practice. Inhale again. As you exhale, offer complete permission to rest and be held by the space around you, including the earth beneath you. Notice the quiet at the center of your being. Rest in the stillness of that. Uh, yeah, so right away it makes me think that July might be a little bit, um, I don't know, dramatic or like intense. Um, we've just, we're in, we're in cancer season and we've just passed the cancer new moon last week. So things are now ramping up towards the full moon in Capricorn. That'll be uh, next week's video. And then inevitably the next new moon, the next time for manifestation is um, going to be the new moon in Leo. So you'll see that these themes are slow, you know, they all flow into each other. The more that I do this, the more that I love to see how, just how that is true. I'll leave that one right there. Um, to start off this week, um, there is an energy that is incredibly helpful for dealing with, um, you know, potential energy that, that could be a bit anxious, you know, slow and steady. Slow and steady is the energy that we start this week with, and that's what's available to us, and I think we should use it. Because um, another theme for this week is, like, subconscious revelations. So, like, understanding that things may keep cropping up, and so maybe we want to have some patience. <clears throat> As we integrate, um, there is a lot of clarity as well. Um, this really just comes down to like finding new ways to relate to other people based on what we learn about ourselves. And sometimes we'll learn about ourselves by through the relation to others, as in, you know, and I don't mean to say that we should compare ourselves to other people, but like when you help somebody with something, for example, you could really reveal to you how much you've grown or reveal to you where your strengths are that you didn't know were there. So that's another theme for this week. Um, it is about doing things a new way. A new way because you're realizing more and more you are a new you and you have your strengths. And then this weekend will be a Scorpio moon. So <laughs> Scorpio moon weekend, it's almost like yeah, things will be intense, and I feel like if you're into that, you will seek ever more intense um, experiences, and maybe you'll like really be interested in the things you're discovering about yourself, about your environment, about where you come from. You know, like being very curious about your subconscious. And you know what I love about this, like the. Um, the Illuminated Love Oracle card that I pulled for the month is that it does speak to like your authenticity, like as you, like the being centered in you. 
and you will see that that is a huge theme for this month anyway it's like instead of keeping the peace like balance is good right but instead of keeping the peace for the sake of peace um true balance is found when you can be truly yourself um, and be accepted as yourself um, a reminder for that might be like don't seek that outside of yourself like being authentically you without the validation um, there's going to be a lot about um, artistry this week and in terms of whether you are an artist and practice creative creativity on a professional level um, or you are tapping into creativity and how this is helping us think differently and non-linearly about what is going on in this moment. Um, so that's all stuff to look forward to this, this month. Um, don't be afraid to be who you really are. I pulled the Dream Oracle deck because uh, we are starting the week with July 4th and I had a dream about July 4th the other day where there were no fireworks and there was no celebrating. Everyone was just sort of, you know, and I can, I can get down with this vibe. Right away a card just fell out. Work. The work card. This is about finding work that is meaningful versus work out of necessity. Um... This is the same sort of feeling of, you know, striving for balance is good, but don't be afraid to be who you really are. As in, don't push your own personal needs to the side out of um, any kind of obligation, social obligation or otherwise. What feels like meaningful work to you? Then we have Wasteland and Warrior. Oh yeah. This is dope. Uh, the warrior has their own personal code of ethics. They are finding, they have found their personal power and they, they do things for the greater good. So look at how you can be adapting your strengths, right? Coming out of the wasteland. This is about removing stagnation through your own personal will. The warrior has a personal code of ethics that does not lead them astray. In fact, they are better for it and so is the collective. So this is maybe about finding more meaningful work. And it doesn't have to be money work. It could just be like the work, like the work that you do. The the what is your purpose? How is your purpose being illuminated? How are you how have your past hurts? your past, um, you know, everything that's happened to date, everything that's formed you to date, how is that becoming your healing power? How does that make you a warrior and an advocate? The warrior is an advocate, ultimately, to break through stagnation. It looks, it appears to me that this is also breaking through an illusion of some sort of false necessity. And we're being reminded that we need to be true to ourselves, to the core. So how are we centering ourselves in this storm? Got the work card again, the eight of pentacles. I'm not really feeling that this is about work work, like how we make money. Yeah, this is more about opportunities for growth like investing into opportunities for growth that feel really joyous for you that like really help you grow as a person and build you know a, a, like a, a foundation or a legacy that will be celebrated not just work for the sake of work like we all work to make money Right, we like we live in a world where we need to do that, but that's I'm not really getting money is important here. It's a different kind of wealth that's showing up. Let's keep going. The Knight of Pentacles, there's like routine some your routine's getting like blown up here a little bit. But there's there's definitely a new beginning. 
Oh yeah, a really awesome beginning. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Tower, the Four of Cups, the Seed, which is unique to this deck, uh, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Devil, the Queen of Pentacles, and then Autumn. Also a, a unique card to this deck. I feel like there's, there's a sense that something you've been working towards very diligently is like going to change suddenly. Um, that is like this Knight of Pentacles to the Tower. And so there might be some resistance in like tr wanting to try things a different way. Um, but the seed is here. The seed is, there's, there's a seed for a new beginning. And I think that the only thing blocking then to the Ace of Cups is the energy of the Five of Cups, which is uh, disappointment. How can you see and, you know, see something as uh, divine protection instead of just rejection? I, I say this a lot to mm, the people <laughs> in my life and the people that I know. I say if, if something didn't work out, then I, I'm like, okay, well, I know that there's something else going on here, right? There's something just beyond. So um, it's interesting to see the devil and the queen of pentacles together. The queen of pentacles, she lives the manifestation, like the kind of life that she wants. And I'm also getting that it's, I'm not sure what to make of the devil at this point, to be honest with you. I kind of want to just get another card to clarify. The ace of swords. <laughs> okay I had a little I had a little bit of self-doubt creep in there and then the ace of swords showed up and the ten of cups showed up to verify what I was thinking that whatever this love is that comes in um, feels feels really good this is the the devil is the card of sort of like indulging and, and desire among many other things, but in this case, this is how I will take it because it's almost as if like the thing, the thing that you want has finally arrived just beyond your own perception of, um, for lack of a better word, perfection. Like, it's almost like you're being a little hard on yourself for things not being exactly the way that you imagined them. And this is, I think, part of the release that's here, the tower and the autumn card. Autumn is insinuating that, you know, the leaves are falling and it's harvest season. It's time to harvest what is good and let everything else go. Um, don't be too attached to outcomes, even though there's evidence here that you've put in a lot of work into building up some sort of routine or building up um, a methodology that feels steady. Uh, Mars is moving into Taurus. That's totally this energy here. Um, this is, you know, the way that we pursue our material goals. Um, in a way that feels that that's that's ramping up, and this does feel like a, at first a very slow energy, and then it's sort of like gains momentum by the end of this reading, especially around here, this devil, this queen of pentacles. Um, what gets you beyond this five of cups, this four of cups, this four, five, ace, mm -hmm. I think is tapping into what is your warrior? What is your inner warrior? There's like this call to be unique, to be uniquely yourself, to express yourself um, authentically. And I know it's not Leo season yet, but like Leo is all about expression and being seen. Um, whatever is happening here for you this week, it just feels really good. There's like some sort of clarity around what will make you happy. This is maybe more about like the subconscious revelation side of things at the beginning of this week. Um, you may realize that the way you have been going about something has been wrong. 
or not like wrong as in bad, but just ineffective um, or putting up false boundaries that didn't need to be there. Um, or really what I mean by that is like you've been doing things, your methodologies have been created in such a way to really protect your energy and to prevent from changes occurring that maybe need to occur. So this is about, yeah, standing more solidly in your own stuff, like in your own feelings and opinions and, and ways of being to recognize your influence and also to invite the influence that wants to come in to break stagnation to, for, th for something to change. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> it's apparent that July is going to be a little bit of, a little bit of this. In so many ways, that feels like there is a breakthrough sort of energy here. Suddenly, something is getting blown up. Whatever has felt stagnant or not really having the results that you've been working towards will finally break, break free. And it may not be in the way that you expect. So some advice could be just be true to yourself and let the universe plan things around the way you want to be and who you are and what feels good to you. We have three aces on the table. I think this is, and the seeds. So this is extremely... Uh, beneficial oh and two tens so wow the ten of pentacles the ace of pentacles the ten of cups and the ace of cups this feels like a um, a melding between like heart and like that which you feel is manifesting in reality Enjoy this, this fresh beginning and don't be afraid to ride the wave. The Five of Cups is, is in the center here. So this, this is also just letting me know that this could be a little bit of a turbulent sort of time. So be patient with yourself, slow and steady wins the race. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like or subscribe to my channel. Um, help me grow this thing. I'm going to be traveling a bit again this month, so I'm going to make all my videos. I, I make six videos a month at this point. I'm going to make them all up front. I'll publish them as they become relevant, so you can expect to see those um, if you subscribe and set your little alerts to on. That's about it. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.